Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chad Oritzek with uh, EPS Corporate Communications. I'll be your moderator for the media availability. For today's program, we're going to have uh, the project partners speak first about the accelerator. Then we'll follow up with media questions and answers, and I'll call on the media outlets one at a time. Just a quick reminder to all participants to keep their microphones muted until they are called upon to speak, as this will minimize the background noise and echo. Before we begin, I'd like to take a few moments to formally acknowledge the land and territory that we stand on together. We are located in a Musquichi, Muskegon, on, or Beaver Hills, on Treaty 6 territory and Mady Region 4, which has been the traditional homelands and gathering grounds of Indigenous peoples for centuries. We honor the commitment made through these treaties to the Cree, Dene, Anishinaabe, Blackfoot, Papas Chase, Nakota Sioux, and Mady, the Mady people and all their descendants. With this acknowledgement, we are making a commitment to understand and appreciate the history of Indigenous peoples and to respect one another as we move forward together as one community. On behalf of the Edmonton Police Foundation, and the Edmonton Police Service, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this special announcement for the TELUS Community Safety and Wellness Accelerator, which will be the first of its kind in North America. The TELUS Community Safety and Wellness Accelerator, in partnership with the Edmonton Police Foundation and Silicon Valley Accelerator Alchemist X, is proud to announce that it has selected its first cohort of tech startups to help us address social challenges. 20 tech startups are joining us from around the world to help solve numerous challenges, such as addictions, mental health and well being, domestic violence, child abuse, accessibility, and much more. These selected businesses are from Russia, New Zealand, Israel, Turkey, Argentina, the United States, and Canada, including Alberta. Joining us today are several of the accelerator partners, and I just want to take a moment to introduce them to you Ashif Maji. Chair of the Edmonton Police Foundation and TELUS CSW, the Honorable Doug Schweitzer, Minister of Jobs, Economy and Innovation, Alberta, His Worship, Edmonton Mayor Amarjeet Sohi, the Honorable Daniel Vandal, Minister Responsible for Prairies, Economic Development, Canada, Chief Dale McPhee with the Edmonton Police Service, Ian Bergman, partner with Alchemist Accelerator, Laura Kilcrease, the CEO of Alberta Innovates, and Brian Bettis, TELUS General Manager of Northern Alberta and British Columbia. Without further delay, I'd like to welcome Ashif Maji, Chair of the Edmonton Police Foundation, to tell us more about the Accelerator Project. Ashif? Thank you. Thank you, Chad. And thank you, everyone, for attending today. As you all know, you know a project like this, an accelerator like this, does not happen by its own. Uh, you, need, uh, you need people that are focused, that think about this, that are very thoughtful, that fund it, and that put in the right metrics and measures in place to make it successful. And we have all of that with all our partners, including the government of Alberta, the city of Edmonton, uh, the federal government. We've been blessed to have the right partners that want to do the right thing. Uh, our mission within the Community Safety and Wellness Accelerator is to show that Alberta is amazing at a lot of different things. Natural resources, for sure. But on top of that, we can do social good. We can bring entrepreneurs from all around the world and help them by giving them the data, the domain expertise, the community partners, the agencies, uh, the first customer uh, funding and all the ingredients that a startup needs to be successful. And why are we doing this? Because we wanna help bring social good and social impact to not just our region in Alberta, but to all over the world. And we have done that. Uh, by, by selecting these 20 companies, and I can tell you, uh, I'm, I'm involved in a lot of pitch competitions, a lot of judging, uh, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> and when we saw these 65-ish companies that applied, we were overwhelmed uh, by the quality of these ventures. And so we knew right there and there, and Ian smiling, uh, because when we saw that list, we knew it was going to be very difficult to bring that down to 20. Uh, and after you know, numerous judges, judges working on it, we were able to do that and we picked the best 20 that we could find. And we know that these companies are all engaged. They're all excited to work in here. And over the next 12 weeks, we're gonna give them the best programming, 
They're going to work with the best agencies, agencies like Boiler as an example, or Abyssal, uh, agencies in Calgary. So this is an Alberta platform. It's an Alberta initiative. Uh, we're going to have an entity like TELUS, who's an amazing partner that, you know, if one of the ventures has something, uh, a solution around mental health, well, guess what? TELUS Health has that. If a solution is around security and safety, guess what? TELUS Security has that. So they can have their first customer. They can have the funding. They can have all the programming. They can have all the ingredients for success. So to say I'm excited would be an understatement. I'm really, really excited to, to work on this, to be a part of this, uh, and to see this journey through. I'll stop there. I know there's uh, lots of remarks coming from others. So thank you very much. I'll pass it to you, Chad. Thank you, Rashif. Please join me now in welcoming the first of our partners, the Honorable Doug Schweitzer, Minister of Jobs, Economy and Innovation, Alberta. Thank you so much. This is an exciting day for Alberta's technology sector. When you take a look at the success of this first of its kind, the TELUS Community Safety and Wellness Accelerator, and the fact that they had over 60 applications and how hard it was to scale this down to the successful companies that were brought into this program. I mean, it's an amazing testament to the team effort. This is a brand new initiative and it had that much interest out of the gate. And I must say, this is a part of a broader strategy that we're working through with Alberta Innovates to bring technology companies to Alberta, help homegrown companies grow as well, increase the talent pool and opportunities. And I got to say, the process is working. It's being more successful than we could have ever imagined. The number of applications that are coming in is just through the roof. And the quality projects that are being brought forward here are amazing. So true testament to the team. We're looking forward to the results. This is one of its kind uh, in the world. So we're really excited to see uh, what the outcomes are going to be. But to she's point, customers matter. Having the community engagement matters. Having people at the table from you know, from Edmonton to police, to the private sector, to innovative startups. This is gonna solve challenges, provide better outcomes, and also just, you know, create amazing momentum in our technology space in Alberta. Edmonton is the fastest growing community with being recognized in the top 50 in North America. Calgary's on the rise. Alberta is growing in this space. So it's a good time to be in the technology and innovation space in Alberta. Thank you, Minister Schweitzer. I'd like to invite His Worship, Amarjeet Sohi, the Mayor of Edmonton, to say a few words. Oh, first of all, let me start by uh, acknowledging that I am speaking with you from uh, Treaty 6 uh, territory. I want to thank uh, uh, Minister Schweitzer and uh, Minister Vandell for joining us as well. Uh, you know, uh, uh, ever since uh, uh, being sworn in as a as your mayor, uh, we have been working together really well with province and the federal government to uh, promote our city's collective uh, desire to build communities that are welcoming, that are accessible, that are uh, you know tackling our social issues of houselessness, mental health, addiction, and many other challenges that uh, we are collectively facing and our police chief is part of this conversation our chief and everyone else you know this is a really a community community effort and uh, and today's announcement is an exciting uh, uh, step toward building future that we all been striving for a future where everyone in our community has a chance to succeed i am incredibly proud of our city will serve as a hub for uh, for the work this global cohort to improve community safety and wellness with the use of cutting edge uh, uh, technology and this groundbreaking accelerator is a shining example of Edmonton's innovative and collaborative spirit. You know, although we face many challenges as a city, we also have a wealth of opportunities and this startup is and this newly formed cohort are seizing on that immense, immense opportunity. Uh, they know that effectively combating today's most pressing social issues require us to work together in a new and creative way so that we can tear down the barriers that block so many from a better life. Uh, global innovation efforts like these have the potential to make great progress in meeting the social challenges that face our community. 
and they can attract investment and companies and technologies to boost our economy along the way. So I wanted to thank, uh, also want to thank Catherine Warren, Chief Executive Officer at the uh, Innovate Edmonton and the entire Innovate Edmonton organization uh, for their work to strengthen social and cultural innovation. And this is exactly the kind of innovation that we need that allows us to tackle our societal issues and also allows us to uh, tap into new technologies and help create opportunities for economic growth and jobs. So I'm very thrilled that all three levels of a government uh, came together to fuel this important work. And I'm deeply appreciated uh, what that what the selected startups will achieve for Edmonton and uh, and rest of the province. So once again, so so honored to be joining all of you. Thank you, Mayor Sohi. I understand the mayor has another commitment with uh, City Council and will be leaving us shortly, but we're thankful he was able to join us today. The Honorable Dan Vandal, Minister Responsible for Prairies Economic Development Canada, is unfortunately unable to join us in person, but has passed along a message for us We'll just play that now. Hello, bonjour. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm joining you today from my office in St. Boniface, St. Vital, located on Treaty 1 territory and homeland of the Métis Nation. It's a great pleasure to join you for today's event. On behalf of the Government of Canada, I want to congratulate the 20 startups selected to participate in the first cohort of the Community Wellness and uh, Safety Accelerator. Our government is committed to supporting businesses and early stage companies to grow. And this business accelerator is truly unique. It will help technology companies advance their ideas to solve community and social challenges. The organizations announced today are leading the, the charge to advance social causes to strengthen communities. The Community Safety and Wellness Accelerator will provide them with the know-how and the support to reach the next level. I'm proud that this initiative is a collaborative effort supported by all orders of government. Initiatives like this are good for our economy, they're good for communities, and they're especially good for Canadians. This kind of initiative is exactly why we provided $5 million to Alberta Innovates to expand funds available to not-for-profit business accelerators. Federal investment in the Alberta Initiative uh, Innovative Ecosystem will support Alberta small and medium-sized technology companies. These startups will have an international impact and I'm so proud to say that these Canadian and international businesses are getting the boost they need here in Canada and especially in Alberta. I wanna thank all of the partners involved in making today's announcement a reality, including the Edmonton Police Foundation, All Chemist X, Innovative Edmonton, and Alberta Innovates. Once again, co congratulations for the first cohort and to all the partners. I look forward to seeing the benefits that this first cohort will have on Alberta's technology sector and on the health and well being of Canadians. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Our thanks to uh, Minister Vandell for sending along his message. I'd now like to invite uh, Chief Dale McPhee with the Edmonton Police Service to say a few words. Chief? Yeah, thanks, Chad. And uh, first of all, thanks, Minister Schweitzer, uh, Mayor Sohi, certainly Chair uh, Sheaf, and uh, our esteemed partners. It's a, it's a great pleasure on behalf of the Edmonton Police Service to be here with you today, but also representing the many social service agencies that are going to benefit from this uh, approach as well. Three years ago, the Edmonton Police Service uh, went down a new path. Uh, many have heard of Vision 2020. It helped our police service make much needed changes and develop a new approach to crime and related social issues. This was not so much about restructuring, it was not about rethinking, but it was really about reimagining policing, reimagining community safety. We needed to encourage an agile culture of innovation and advancement with the right partnerships to drive community safety and support a healthy, vibrant city. The complexity of social issues and crime require us to use evidence and data in new ways to get to the root causes to find people-focused solutions. Recently, EPS, the government of Alberta, partnered on a digital screening tool called Health IM, 
which we're currently uh, putting into the hands of our patrol officers now, which will have better screening for mental health outcomes. Recently, our Community Solutions Accelerator uh, with uh, Chair Mwaji, we actually took on liquor store thefts and robberies. And those uh, was another international challenge. And those that actually have these technologies in place are seeing robberies down by over 95%, again, reducing victimization. It's this kind of forward thinking and support from our partners in government and the business sector that help us become more responsive, efficient, and serve the community better. We have a real opportunity here to leverage technology uh, to, that's never been done before by any police agency in North America. We are grateful for the support of the Edmonton Police Foundation, the Government of Canada, the Government of Alberta, Alberta Innovates, Innovate Edmonton, Alchemist X, TELUS, and the cohorts of tech companies will be working with us together to make better outcomes. Ultimately, we're building here something that has the potential to benefit countless other agencies, municipality, and police services across the world. I want to just take a minute to pause, thank Chair Maji and the Edmonton Police Foundation, many of which are on this call today. A group of men and women that obviously invest in their police service, but they invest their time to make this, the Edmonton city of Edmonton a safer and better place to live. And for that, we are grateful. We're grateful to all of our partners sharing our vision of a safe and vibrant community. And we are excited about this new accelerator. I think the sky's the limit. Uh, you know, back when the chief and I talked about this three years ago, never thought it would happen this quick, but it's to the people that are on this call, the partners that have made that happen. And we are grateful and we look forward to many good outcomes to come. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief McPhee. Our next partner is with Alchemist Accelerator. Please welcome Ian Bergman. Thank you, Chad. Um, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. Since its founding 10 years ago, Alchemist Accelerator has been working with top enterprise-focused startups and entrepreneurs from Silicon Valley and around the world. We've achieved a track record of success in no small part by focusing on distinctive founding teams and the impact those teams can have when they're working directly with customers to tackle uh, the most seemingly intractable challenges. We at Alchemist X are really pleased to continue that tradition here today. We've found like-minded partners in the Edmonton Police Foundation. As more is expected of them and their partners, they've stepped up to do more and to reimagine what it means to be in service to the community. And we're thrilled to be here to help. You've heard that our initial cohort contains 20 companies from seven countries tackling a range of challenges from physical safety to mental wellness to accessible mobility, communication, and so much more. And it's just filled to the brim with potential. The founders driving these companies are bringing their lived experience, their technical capability, and their ambition to do something game-changing for the world around them. Startup accelerators play a particular role in helping early stage companies refine their focus. In a short period of time, we help founders test their assumptions, conducting extensive uh, customer discovery and validation exercises across an expanded network of customers, partners, investors, advisors, and experts. And that's part of what makes the Community Safety and Wellness Accelerator so special. We plan to connect founders from Alberta and around the world with the organizations who are living these safety and wellness challenges every day, enabling new insight and lessons and ultimately better outcomes for our communities. So we're proud at Alchemist X to be partnering to deliver this program to help unlock that potential, connect it to those who need it the most. Thank you to everyone here for the opportunity and for being with us at the beginning of the journey. Thank you. I'm going to. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Um, sorry about that little technical issue. I'd like to now welcome Laura Kilcrease, the CEO of Alberta Innovates, to say a few words. Laura? Thank you, Chad. And thank you, Ian. Ian, I would say that we're not with you just at the start of this journey, we're with you in the whole way through here in Alberta. So I don't have to tell you how important innovation and diversification is to our economy of, of this province, like others. But to help drive this diversification, we need to develop and grow successful Alberta entrepreneurs, 
or other entrepreneurs who come to Alberta and take advantage of the resources and the uniqueness of what we have available. And those startups need to go further and not just start, but to scale up. We want Albertans to be successful here in Alberta, but we want our friends who come here to be successful too. Alberta's tech business needs more growth and that will help our economy in many, many different ways. We need to bridge this missing middle of how we grow these companies with more, uh, to get companies with more valuations over $100 million in either revenue or equity value, or hopefully even more than that. Alberta Innovate started the Scale Up and Growth Accelerator program to fill the gap we saw in the economy. We brought together a consortium of funding partners at the municipal, provincial and federal levels to attract accelerators and bring the Scale Up Gap program to life. I especially want to recognize those funding partners, Minister Vandell for, uh, and Prairies Can, Minister Schweitzer and Jobs Economy and Innovation and Mayor Sohi in the City of Edmonton. Together, we've invested 35 million for the overall accelerator programs in Alberta. And thanks go to them for seeing the potential that exists in Alberta and investing in the new future that you will see before your eyes material, materialize before your eyes in the, in, the, in, the, in the coming months. Today, we're celebrating the start of the TELUS Community Safety and Wellness Accelerator. This accelerator brings together community partners, entrepreneurs, new ideas, targeting social challenges, supporting by world-renowned alchemists. This unique model, believed to be the first of its kind in Canada, is targeting to solve social challenges, of you, as you've heard. But more than that, this actually gives us what I believe to be a double bottom line approach to, to acceleration. It will give a meaningful social output, but it will also give a meaningful business output and impact. This makes for an exciting new win-win combination. Alberta, again, is leading the way with this model. It's another reason our reputation as a destination for entrepreneurship, innovation, and investments is growing. And I cannot say enough thanks to all of our partners coming together for this program to have federal, provincial, and municipal programs working in alignment for the success of all the participants from wherever they may be and however quickly they're going to grow. I say to you all, thank you. And for those of you listening today, I say get involved. You too can participate in the double bottom line. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Our last speaker is Brian Bettis, the General Manager of Northern Alberta and British Columbia for TELUS. Brian? Thank you everyone for joining us today. I'm Brian Bettis, General Manager of Northern Alberta and BC for TELUS. We are so pleased to be involved with the TELUS Community Safety and Wellness Accelerator powered by Alchemist in Edmonton. We're working with a talented group of partners to bring together 20 of the best startups from around the world that are leveraging technology for good to build stronger communities. At TELUS, our actions are rooted in social purpose, and through the vision of our CEO, we're helping to build healthier, safer communities and bridging the digital divide so that those who are the most vulnerable among us, including at-risk youth, older citizens, families, and people with health-related issues, don't get left behind. Through the Accelerator, we're furthering our commitment to support more organizations that are solving some of our greatest social challenges by building innovative solutions that will help to create a friendlier future for all. We're excited to help fuel initiatives like the Accelerator that build stronger connections within the startup community and facilitate collaboration between like-minded organizations that are creating measurable and meaningful impact. We're long-term supportive of Canada's small business community. We're the foundation of our economy, and we welcome those bringing new ventures to Alberta and Canada broadly. We can't wait to see the creativity and growth that stems from this initiative and the positive change it will drive in our communities. Thank you, Brian. Just before we go to the questions from the media, I'd like to ask uh, Ashif Maji with the Edmonton Police Foundation if he had any final thoughts that he wanted to add. Just, you know, I'll just add one last comment, which is, uh, and, and, and the chief uh, alluded to it, but uh, uh, we had started this charity, I think, uh, Dale, if you remember, we had that lunch before you joined EPS. And, uh, you know, it was an interesting conversation. It was, uh, 
you know, as I call it, like-minded entrepreneurs talking about problems and saying, you know, we've got all these different challenges in the community that, that are not uncommon, uh, just Edmonton, it's, it's around the world. And, and why is it that we can't make a meaningful and impactful difference? What's the missing ingredient? And we both came to the conclusion it was entrepreneurship. And so now we have the entrepreneurship and we've got the rest of the stuff. So uh, I think, Gail, yeah, this will be a, a fun journey, journey to be on. I'll just stop there, Chad, back to you. Thank you, Ashif. So now we will move to the media joining us on Zoom for any questions they may have. Uh, right now, it looks like we have a Global, CTV, and CBC with us. Um, each media outlet will be given one question and a follow-up before moving to the next media outlet. When everyone has a turn, we'll move to the second round of questions if needed. I'd like to uh, start by calling on Sarah Ryan with uh, Global News. Sarah? Thank you, Chad. I'm not sure if this is for Ashif or Ian. Sorry, guys, It's um, there's obviously a lot of um, energy and appreciation around this, but can someone just really explain very basically what this tangibly is so that our viewers can understand. It seems very pie in the sky to me right now. So I'm hoping someone can break it down. What does this look like? What does it mean? I, I can give you a very quick example, Sarah. So so let, let's take uh, child abuse as an example. OK, uh, right now there is, you know, you, if you suspect a child has been abused, you will go to a practitioner, a psychiatrist, as an example, and you will try and, you know, with the psychiatrist, figure out you know, what, what happened, if anything happened, uh, you know, how long ago, et cetera, et cetera. Well, one of the ventures that got accepted, what they do is they use visual artificial intelligence to aid the practitioner. So the psychiatrist will ask the child to draw something, okay? And then that psychiatrist will interpret that drawing and make an assessment saying, you know, I feel that this child either has or hasn't been abused. Well, this visual AI tool, helps them be a lot more certain, over 90 some percent accuracy rates, because when they scan that visual drawing in there, it's using lots of data, lots of past experiences, uh, you know, on, on, on proven data and saying, yes, we think this child uh, has, has been abused or not. And so again, it allows for that quicker uh, diagnosis and that means a quicker recovery. So that's just one example focused on child abuse. And, and what we're doing is helping that venture partner with the right foundations here. So it could be Zebra Foundation as an example. Uh, and then allowing that data to be shared with them in a, in a confidential way, obviously, but also allowing them to interview Zebra and say, what have you learned, right? And now we're gonna give them all those, uh, that, that learning, but also on top of that, allow them to learn how to scale that business. How can they take it from here to other jurisdictions and really grow it? So again, grow it through entrepreneurship, through innovation, through AI, through data, and through community agencies. Does that help? Yes, thank you. Sarah, did you have any other questions? No, I think I'm good for right now, thank you. Okay, I realize that uh, there may be media that are just recording the session uh, and will run segments of it later on. I believe we have Carrie from CTV. Carrie, are you on the line? Kerry, okay, then uh, we'll move to uh, uh, Jackie from uh, CBC. Jackie, I guess uh, Jackie's not there. Uh, there is a, a question that came in. Uh, it said, hello, I do not have access to a microphone, but I'd like to ask Chief McPhee a question a little off today's topic. Um, what is EPS doing to improve safety on public transit? Uh, that's a, a little bit off topic, uh, to say the least, and certainly I can take that offline. We're working with the city manager right now to provide some solutions in this uh, space, but, uh, you know, I don't want to take away from the focus of today's announcement, so we can follow that up later. Thank you. Good, thank you. Uh, and we can follow up afterwards. If there's any other questions like that, we can always follow up afterwards as well. Are there any other media outlets that uh, are looking for any additional information about the project?
Okay, then I guess that's that's all the questions for today. I want to thank you all. If me, just a reminder, if media have any additional questions, please feel free to contact Alicia Jackson, the uh, Fund Development Manager with the Edmonton Police Foundation directly. Information and updates on the TELUS Community Safety and Wellness Accelerator will be posted on the project website at www dot csw accelerator dot com and on behalf of the edmonton police foundation the edmonton police service i want to thank all of you for joining us today have a wonderful day thank you chad there's a hand up there uh, go ahead giselle if you have a question please go ahead and ask it now yeah, just a quick question. Uh, what will you expect the community to take from this announcement today, especially those of the multicultural communities? What do you th what would be their take home from this announcement today? Who is your question addressed to? I would say that would be to the Telos and uh, the Innovator Better, who are actually organizing this. Uh, Wonderful minds coming together. Ian, Brian, go ahead. Ian, do you want to go first? Sure. Actually, Ashif unmuted. Do you want to ta take this? Uh, otherwise, I will jump in and answer. No, actually, I was going to suggest for you to take it, Ian. <laughs> wonderful. Sorry. Oh, so many people to jump in. No, it's it's a wonderful question. I, for me, I think the takeaway is that we have managed to attract a number of ventures that are applying innovation and in technology and in business model and that are tackling some really, really challenging problems from mental wellness to physical safety uh, to you name it. We've managed to attract them to the community and we plan to connect them with organizations who can help them learn how to best impact our communities. So we've started that step of bringing in great ideas and resources that can hopefully better help us serve the safety and wellness needs of our communities. And that is a, a very important step with these 20 ventures from Canada and from around the world. Thank you, Ian. Uh, Franklin, did you have any other questions? No, that's good. Thank you very much. Sorry about missing you, Franklin. Um, so with that, if there's no additional uh, hands up, if there's no additional questions, I wanna thank everybody for participating. I wanna especially thank uh, David Benson who's working behind the scenes uh, to make sure that all of this works for us. Um, and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thanks, Chad. Take care, everyone.